Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. Just making this video for the free Canon software users to show you guys how to um, do up a sales invoice in and customize the PDF for the sales invoice so that it has uh, quantity and rate columns like this invoice does. So um, I've um, set up a business and one thing to point out is that this is the way to customize an invoice when you are using a Bassoff hosted file. Um, so if you have a local file which is which is free using um, Fasery Desktop, um, there's a different way to customize the invoice and um, it's a lot simpler and has a few less features. Um, if you have a Bassoff um, uh, hosted file, it's not free, it, it's a small cost per annum. Um, but it comes with more features and this is one of those extra things. So um, to customize your sales invoice you click on this link that says template document upload and um, you select the transaction type that you you want to customize. You can do this the same way for all these other document types as well and uh, you can download the default template. Um, so let's do that. Now the default template looks like this and it's got an XGST column adds the GST and goes to the amount. And that's nice when you um, don't use quantity and, and rate very much you can easily see, you know, what's the amount excluding GST, which items have GST charged on them. If you want to add a quantity and rate column here and, and keep the X GST and GST columns, that'd work fine, except it's going to not give you much space for your, um, for the comment on each line. So I've done up a, um, another template document and I'll put this up for download on the website where this video is um, and uh, it looks like this so um, just to just I'll just explain some of these um, field names a little bit um, so one, one thing is I've got a new field name which uh, if I hover over these gray fields it sort of um, displays the field name and that is um, GST taxable um, slash total provision amount and that is um, the tax amounts but only where it relates to GST. It would be really unusual to have a different kind of tax um, like pay go or, or something like that that's put on a sales invoice um, but this field filters it to just the GST related taxes. Um, entry comment is the same. Detail comment is different from the um, default template. The field is transaction line slash line comment account name. And what that is doing is it is um, going to display the line comment if you type one in. If you don't type one in it's just going to display the account name. So if you were selling something like a widget um, you might not want every time you sell that widget to type have to type into the line comment widget. Um, you, you just pick up the account name. The next field is a um, indicator of whether GST is charged on that item. So because we're putting the total GST um, down the bottom rather than indicating that how much GST is on each line we need to sort of um, indicate which ones did have GST charged on it. Um, so that's um, transaction line slash GST asterisk and that will um, display an asterisk when the item is subject to GST. And there is a note down here in the total label to indicate that um, the asterisk means that it's um, got GST charged on it. Quantity is straightforward. Rate. Rate is the rate excluding GST. So um, um, so that it would make sense, although we enter things into free accounting software with GST inclusive, so the rate and the amount is always entered including GST, um, 
for the purposes of display on this um, invoice it is excluding GST and then that um, totals up to the uh, amount excluding GST and then the total amount excluding GST we add the GST and then we have the total amount of the invoice okay so um, to use this template all you need to do is um, and, and I should say that you probably want to do some things like add your logo um, and some payment instructions and so on and I have demonstrated how to do this in the other sales invoice um, video so I won't um, do that again here okay so make whatever changes you want once you're happy with it then um, what you have to do is come back here to um, Free County Software um, choose the file that you want to um, use as your template and then upload okay once you've uploaded it then you can go to your sales worksheet and click transaction PDF and save and then your uh, PDF will look more like this so then you, sh you should get the quantity column and the rate column and and so on okay um, that's all there is to it um, and I hope this video has been useful to you and thanks for watching